With new details tonight in the death of Casey Johnson, a woman missing in Wilmington. Records show the man accused of killing her has a lengthy rap sheet. William Hicks was in a courtroom in South Carolina today, a place he's been several times over the last few years for everything from burglary to animal abuse. WCT Sydney Hoover is following the case tonight. Sydney, as we learn more about Hicks, those who know the victim say they will never forget her. That's right, Fran. There are still plenty of unanswered questions surrounding the death of Casey Johnson, but her family and friends say one thing you can't question was her love for life. As William Hicks sits in jail in South Carolina and awaits extradition back to North Carolina for the murder of Casey Johnson, Johnson's death has left the community in mourning. So every day of the year we work to support and improve the lives of LGBTQ people, but particularly when a trans person is murdered, and in this case a trans woman, a population that faces a much higher violence rate than the rest of us, we felt that it was important to draw attention to and honor her life. The LGBTQ Center will host a candlelight vigil in honor of Casey Friday evening at 530 on the steps of City Hall. Morin said she hopes to continue providing support for friends and family affected by the tragedy and also for those throughout the LGBT community. That violence against us is violence against us and the result is that our lives are often taken and until the greater community is able to find ways to support Support us at all levels. This will keep happening and it's unacceptable. Casey's family is also planning a vigil for 7 p.m. at the 1300 block of King Street where police believe Casey was killed. Her mom, Don Buchanan, did not want to speak on camera, but she did give us permission to share a post on her Facebook that read in part, quote, the most caring, loving, giving person I have ever met. Casey carries that title. You want to laugh? Casey was the person to make that happen. You want an in-depth conversation? Casey was your go-to. We all lost an amazing, talented, loving piece of our hearts. Now her family is left to pick up the pieces and await answers as to why her life was cut short. As for Hicks, he waived his right to an extradition hearing, meaning he should be back in North Carolina to face his charges in the coming days. Sydney Hoover, WECT News.